Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids and what is there to say <laughs> about the events and the past today? Well, I'm, I've got a lot to say actually. Let's dive in. We've got the champion pass for Xena, colon warrior princess. Did do a showcase on the champion. You can check that out. Uh, I actually thought the champion was pretty good. However, the pass has now arrived in game and we can see the price and uh, the price is 40 US dollars for the Elite Pass. And then you do the challenges to unlock it. Or you can spend 60 US dollars uh, to fully unlock the pack or the pass straight away and get everything all in one go. So that is what you get. Um, we're going to break that down. We also have uh, this event right here. So the event for Kira, the Watcher. That's a effectively guaranteed legendary event, the Fiery Singles Path. That is out as well. And I'm going to be breaking this down and, you know, showing you the best way. I, I like to show you the best, most optimal way through these paths. Uh, so here you've got, like, for example, lots of, lots of decision making, lots of interesting choices. So many branching paths, so many possibilities for altering your course as you go. Yeah, right. We'll be breaking this down as well. Let's start with the champion pass first. That's the new shiny thing. Uh, for Let's look at the free rewards. What do you get for free? So this stuff is free. That's a win. There's, you know, a tiny bit of silver energy. There's multi battles in here. Five star cruel weapon and helmet. That's okay, but not particularly special. So like pretty decent for a new player, I suppose. Uh, there are... There is a champion avatar for Xena, so that's fun. Um, six star epic, cruel, chest, gloves, legendary, cruel, shield, and boots. So you've got like four pieces of, of good, potentially good gear in there. Of course, they could have whatever stats on them. Like what, with the gloves, you probably want crit damage only. Gloves are particularly good. So you've got what, like a one in eight chance that your gloves are are even potentially usable, then you've got to roll the substats. But look, four pieces of gear for free, and they're decent quality and a good set, very good set. You know, that's decent. Multi-battle sprinkle throughout, some energy, some XP boosts. I think the rest of the stuff is very minor. Extra little multi-battles are quite nice for mobile players, so that's cool. And a sacred chart at the end. So look, for a free player, what are you getting? Not that much, really. I think the Sacred Chart is nice. I think a few pieces of gear is decent in multi-battles. It's okay. Like, it's a little free pass uh, with an avatar. You know, I think that's fun. I think it's 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 not really overly impressing anyone, is it? It's nothing to get particularly excited about, but it's fine. It's decent. The Sacred Chart is the nicest thing. Uh, so that's it's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, we'll talk about Sacred Charts when we come to the, uh, the Fiery Singles Path, though. Oh, my. When we come to the Elite Pass, and bearing in mind you are spending 40 US dollars for this, what are you getting in the Elite Pass? Well, you do have uh, one of each of the legendary accessories. There's a ring, right? There's a necklace, uh, there's a banner. Again, these are could roll anything in particular. They're legendary, so there's a decent chance they could be okay. The banner would be tough to get good rolls on, of course. Um, you know, five-star chicken, a few Plarium play points sprinkled in, tiny amounts of silver, Tiny amounts of bruise, tiny amounts of gems, like clan boss key, all this stuff. Five star speed glyph. Initial glance. This is sparse as heck, isn't it? This is really poor. Now, what I did for fun, <clears throat> I did go, I entered this stuff into the Hell Hades offer calculator. Right, so we've got one five star chicken, 10 superior potions, 10 bruise. It's like it's, yeah, one clan boss key. We got 400,000 silver total, 150 gems. Uh, there are a few bits that uh, we couldn't put into the calculator. We'll come back to those in a second. But the stuff that can go into the offer calculator comes back as an estimated five US dollar rating. So approximately five US dollars worth of this stuff right there from your $40 pass. Now, on top of that, there is more, of course, uh, because on top of that, you also have... Um, Three of these six-star legendary accessories, one five-star uh, attack glyph, one five-star speed glyph, 30 plarium play points. Like, <laughs> 30 play <laughs> That's worth the 40 bucks right there alone. No, so this is basically, you could, you know, you could just delete that. I obviously won't because we want people to see what's actually in it. it this is laughable. One five-star glyph from attack and speed each, 
it's pretty low value as well that's that's not really worth much like three legendary accessories yeah you know, like that's okay but <clears throat> it, it it could roll well it could not you know it's not super enticing but you know if they were to actually sell that, if they sold that stuff in the shop, right, it would be very expensive. You know it is. Like, they probably sell three accessories, like a faction accessory pack for, like, 30 bucks or something stupid. Uh, I don't know who buys that stuff, but, yeah, people with a lot of money, I suppose. But that's, you know, that's somewhat okay. Realistically, let's be honest, realistically, you're basically paying 40 bucks for a champion. Let's say you're you're definitely paying at least 30 bucks for a champion, at least, and you're getting you know, at a stretch, $10 of, of other stuff, I would say, in, in terms of value. And that's sort of plarium value as well. It's just not very high. Um, So yeah, I think that this initial glance, man, it's a massive disappointment. Like, it's really, it is so underwhelming. I would say for 40 bucks, this should be way better. This should be so much better. There should be powerful rewards there should be like there should be a stack of five speed glyphs then we're, then we're talking right you know there should be you know multiply these plarium points by a hundred uh again multiply all the silver by at least a hundred uh, you know there, there should be so much more multiply the bruise by you know at, at least at least 10 there should be you know way more it's just all of this stuff is it's just very poor is xena then is she worth going 40 bucks in for I don't know. That is pretty brutal. I'll be honest, seeing as I am a content creator, I, I might get this as a content creator. I can tell you right now, and I will tell you right now, if I was not a content creator, I would not buy this for 40 bucks. You guys know me that have been watching this for a long time. I tried to whale out for like two months and I gave up. It's just not the type of person I am. I'm just not a spender in this game. Um... You know, I, I spend more, mostly because I am a content creator, to be honest. I much more enjoy free-to-play stuff. That's my bias, but, you know, it's a good bias. <laughs> That's a bias that is good financial responsibility. But, yeah, like, I, I, I like this champion, but, you know, spending 40 bucks at once for a champ, that just feels like a lot to me. It doesn't, it doesn't feel great, to be honest. I, I think it's too much. I do. For me, personally, I would have said that you know, I, I think I would have gone 30 bucks for a Forge Pass. I would have said, okay, I'll spend 30 for this and I'll I'll be pretty underwhelmed by these rewards. I'll spend 30 and I'll I'll feel I'll be like, eh, that wasn't great. I don't know if I'll I'll go again. You know, that was not a great feeling purchase, which is not something that Plarium wants. You don't want that apathy. It's just not a good place to be. You want people to go in and spend it and be like, wow, this is a great deal. This is amazing. I can't wait for the next one. I want to keep playing. This feels great. I don't, I do not think they've done this. And that was if it was 30. I think for 40, it's just way too much. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's just too much in my opinion. Uh, like to be fair, if you were to try to buy a legendary champion just by buying shards, it basically costs like 200, $300. So compared to just buying a legendary straight out, there's no question that this is good value, right? In terms of plarium valuation of things, you know, a legendary champion is worth $300. In terms of real life money, is a champion in Ray Shadow Legends worth three hundred dollars? No, <laughs> no. I, I could have a bloody weekend away at a nice hotel, you know. Uh, I get super pampered for three hundred bucks instead of some pixels in a video game. It's not worth three hundred bucks. So, yeah, like, in, I don't know. I, I think it's too much. I I I can understand this one perhaps being more expensive because it's Xena Warrior Princess trademark. Uh, all of that, they probably had to pay a lot to get this licensing and stuff done. Um, I, I hope that they either massively improve these rewards or lower the price in the future. I think that they definitely need to do that. This is not a good move, honestly. It's, um, yeah, I like, this is supposed to be something that promotes your game. That's the point of it. It's a marketing thing. <laughs> no. I, 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 just, I just don't see the negativity being worth it. Let's look at the fiery singles pass. Surely this will be good, right? <laughs> surely, surely, it's been a negative video so far. Surely, Plary will they'll turn it around here. It's not all bad news today. Surely, it couldn't be. Um, this fiery singles pass is going to blow us away as being a great player-centered, player-friendly event that is worth doing and caring about, right? Right? Let's take a look. Okay, so okay, we obviously have these different paths through. There is 
as I joked about at the start, there's no way to go. It's just straight down, right? You've got one little bit of variety at the bottom here, which is like the paths on the side. This goes straight down to an epic. Um, at the bottom, you can hop between them. So it does mean that like if you want to complete everything, right, you could pick one of these two paths, uh, go down, and then you could pick up all of these at the bottom. Uh, worth noting that what is going on here, it's giving you... Uh, Kira the Watcher herself, and it's giving you the four epics for Tatsu. So if you do this whole thing, you would get both legendary champions that are needed to fuse Lady Makage. I talked about this yesterday. Fusing four epics into a legendary is really, really, really good value. Definitely worth doing. So I would, and once you fuse Makage, this goes away. So I would definitely be trying to get these four epics to fuse Kira. I would not want to fuse Kira into Makage without without fusing Aki right here, because you're going to lose out the opportunity. I think that's just good for faction guardians, for having the champion, etc. But I, I don't think either Kira or Tatsu are very good. I think that they're good progression champions for the first six months to maybe a year of playing the game. They could be incredibly helpful, but I think when once you hit mid-game, and absolutely by the time you're into the late game, the only place those champions are really going to be going is into the vault, right? They might stick around in faction wars, for maybe like a year and a half, two years. And that's pretty decent, but it's faction wars. It's not that important uh, once you've beaten it. Like by your, the time you're that far into the game, you're going to beat it with almost anything, you know? You'll have enough gear. Um, and once you're two years in, uh, they're both going in the vault for better champions for faction wars anyway. Um, so yeah, but like I, I wouldn't use either of them in faction wars if I had them, right? Uh, so yeah, I, I just don't see this champion as being super valuable now. Let's look at the breakdown. This is the whole path. This is what it looks like. Um, so there's a few ways through it. There is the red path, which is just going as quick as you can to grab the legendary Kira the Watcher. Well, uh, and <clears throat> let me put this in context. The red path is going to cost you 100,600 points, right? It's very expensive because she's 60,000, which is going to cost you 22 sacred shards. Um, yeah, I mean, look, we've had... You know, you guys know this if you've been watching for a while. We've had guaranteed legendaries multiple times in the past. Uh, they've often been for 15 sacred shards for a legendary. Um, more recently, we've had really good ones like Michinaki and Elva for 20. Um, 22 sacreds worth for Kira the Watcher. This is just not a very good champion. Let's be honest. This is an early game champion. 22 sacreds for an early game champion sucks. This is terrible. The only reason you go for this really is because you want to get Lady Mikage as fast as possible. Let's be honest. Um, then you've got the blue path and you've got a pink path. Uh, so pink and blue, they both cost the same. So they're both 55,250 points, which is about 12 sacreds worth of points. So 12 sacreds to get to these epic champions. Um, in a weird... Yeah, it's, it's, still, <laughs> it's still pretty bad. Like... If we, if we take, uh, and, and then let me put this in as well. So you'd also have uh, what I call the green path right here, uh, which is um, slapping on basically the two epics to grabbing Kira as well, which is an extra 30,000 points, which is, I rounded this one up slightly. I rounded the others down a bit. So I rounded this one up. So it's seven, seven sacreds. I think it's like 6.7 or something. I rounded it up. Um, like if I was to throw on a quick little tick, the one thing I will say is you do have some, some good rewards in here like an immortal soul stone like that's okay i think like 100 superior oils is actually really good like legendary skill tomes are good barrel is okay you know again over here i'd say 200 things are good this is good uh like that's okay that's good like there are some good rewards uh through these paths you're not getting absolute junk um but still, this is, there's no question, it's really expensive. So I wouldn't look at the blue path, for example, or the pink path as being 12 sacreds for an epic. I see it as 12 sacreds for that particular epic, but also like 100 big oils. It's not terrible along the way, but it's also not great. You can often max out an entire summon rush event for 15 sacreds and you get like maybe two or three legendary books in there. You'd be getting stuff. So yeah, it's a bit rough. It's a bit rough. If we add all of this together, what if we want to get all of this stuff. Basically, what this works out as, guys, is 53 sacred shards to get two guaranteed legendaries, to get the two legendaries that you use to fuse Lady Mikage. 53 sacreds to clear everything out. Now, if you have some of these epics already, you can obviously 
do this more cheaply. I guess that's the one benefit of this is that it might be cheaper. But yeah, doing all the stuff that I've circled is going to cost about 53 sacreds. You can also, it's worth noting, uh, you can come in and um, you will get some points from Dungeon Divers. So you'll get some minor points from that. It's not going to be too much. It, it might save you, let, let's, let's say approximately, I'd say it could potentially save you three sacreds worth over the course of this entire event if you're farming pretty hard. So it could be 50 sacreds for two Legos. Again, I think 50 sacreds for two guaranteed legendaries, that is a very high price to pay. Um, I would say that the highest that they've really been charging recently is 20 sacreds for guaranteed. So this one is very expensive. It's the most expensive we've seen. And let's be honest, standalone champions are Tatsu and Kira good legendaries. No, they're really, really mediocre. They are thoroughly mediocre at best, like B minus champions. It's just, yeah, this, this is purely a thing of, do you want to effectively purchase Lady Makage uh, sooner rather than later? This is, this is something for Krakens, right? This, or whales even, maybe. This is a big event for them. Go buy your shards. There's a bunch of okay 10x events on at the same time. It's like, okay, guys, go crazy pulling and you'll get a Lady Mikage out of it. Um, especially if you're a big spender in terms of shards and stuff, you know, uh, you don't really care about not skipping fusing, fusing the, the Kira. You're going to be spying champions anyway, so you don't really care. Uh, so you can just fuse her up and get Mikage quickly. I really, I'm not doing this. I think this is stupid. I think this event sucks. Uh, I'm just going to do this slowly. I will pull these epics eventually. I don't really care. I actually do have copies of these ones, but I want to keep them like this. And uh, he's three star awakened. I'd rather keep him. She's six star. I could feed these. I'd rather keep the fire gun as well, but it's not too important to me. Um, but like, I'm going to wait to just eventually collect this stuff more slowly and, and then fuse them up and get Lady Mikage. There is really, I think, no rush to get Lady Mikage. You don't need to rush. What are you going to do? Like, what difference is it going to make? It's totally fine. You can wait a while and just get it through normal events. Um, I don't even have 53 sacreds to do this anyway. Uh, how many do I have? I've got 26. I'm like halfway, man. <laughs> like halfway. Uh, it's just silly. This is... Uh... Nah. And again, Kira the Watcher. I could go... Uh, you know me. I like guaranteed champions. Would I go for a guaranteed Kira the Watcher? I have a six-star... Kira the Watcher Soul. I even have a three-star one as well. I've got two, apparently. <laughs> That's funny. I've got six-star Kira the Watcher. Where do I go? You know me. I love guaranteed champions. Where do I go for guaranteed Kira the Watcher? I have the shards. I've got the six-star soul. I could have a six-star guaranteed Kira the Watcher ascended here on my account. Am I going for it? No, because she's basically just sitting in the vault. Like, what am I going to use that champion for? Nothing. So that, that's what I think about that. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about all of this stuff. I think this has really been a swing and a very big miss from Plarium. Uh, yeah, I just, I just, I think these events are both poor. I, I, I think that if this, if the champion pass was like 25 bucks, like they did for the battle pass in the past, you would have been like, okay, the rewards are still really disappointing for the individual levels. These should be so much more interesting. Like, why am I paying for a thing? I'm getting five bloody Plarium points. It's so trash. Come on, man. Uh, 200k silver. Like, come on. Make it 2 million. At least. Like, so terrible. They could really improve this pass. This pass is so underwhelming. That could be much better. Um, and then it would be fun. Then it'd be interesting. Again, the fiery singles path. If this cost half as many shards, then it might be kind of interesting. Like, okay, okay, cool. This is a cool event to try get a permanent fusion. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I really feel like they've just massively inflated the cost of this to capitalize on people wanting to get Lady Mikage sooner rather than later because she's red border and she's new and she's shiny. So pay a premium to get stuff that you don't need. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.